Welcome to Optimum Kinematics, Optimum G's newest kinematic software. First time you load the software, you'll arrive to the backstage, where you have the ability to create a new project, look at any recent projects that you may have, save, save as, open, close, um, adjust any licensing information, report any bugs, uh, change any user options that you might want to change. Uh, you have the ability to also view our help file um, right off the bat. So the first thing you're going to do is create a project. When you create a project, the first step is going to be to create a vehicle. Once you have a vehicle created, you can add suspension to that vehicle, where you have pretty much three options. You can build suspension based on geometry that we have built in. Um, and you can create it with pickup points already built in, or if you uncheck this create just shown suspension, it will give you a blank setup where you can go in and change any of the pickup points manually. The other option is to create a suspension from a list of templates that we have pre-designed for you. So once you have your suspension created, you have the ability to adjust the pickup points. Um, it should be noted that even if you make a major error or major mistake, you always have the option to undo. Um, that is a new feature that we have in Optimum Kinematics. You also have the option to either adjust the pickup points in a table sort of fashion on the input data, or you can double click on an individual point and you can adjust the pickup options on the fly. You'll also notice that we have a list of output data, static output data. So you can look at your camber angle, caster angle, and so on. Um, you also have the ability to pin items that you might be viewing more frequently than others. Or you can do a quick search through and narrow down your results. So the next step after you have your suspensions created is going to be to create a setup. When you create a setup, this is adding a front suspension and a rear suspension and giving it a reference distance. Um, it should be noted that the reference distance is not going to necessarily be the distance between uh, your wheelbase distance. It is merely the distance between the front and the rear reference plane, which may or may not be going through the center of your wheels. You also do have the option to run a simulation on just a front suspension or just a rear suspension. And so once you've created that, we're going to create a motion. And in creating a motion, you have the ability to add heave, roll, pitch, and steering. Um, you can add points graphically by clicking, left clicking on the chart, it'll add points. If you right click on those points, it will remove them. Uh, you also have the ability to add points in a table sort of fashion. You have the ability to uh, create a cubic spline on your points so it'll smooth out the motion that the vehicle is going through or you can override the number of steps that the simulation runs through and if you override that you're going to need to make sure that this overrides number of steps checkbox is true and so once you've created that you have the three aspects needed for the vehicle we can run a simulation in running a simulation you have two basic options where you can do a quick run select a vehicle select one vehicle setup and select one motion or you can create a simulation where you have three options you can run a single iteration where you have the ability to select one motion and one vehicle you can run multiple iterations so a batch run um, on one motion and one vehicle and you can adjust multiple pickup points as it goes through each iteration and compare the results side by side you also have the ability to run design of experiment, which is one of the newest features in Optimum Kinematics that allows you to run multiple setups with multiple motions and view all of the results of these side by side. So I am going to go ahead and run this. And another thing you'll notice in Optimum Kinematics is the speed at which the simulation runs is much faster than it was in Optimum K1.1. So once you arrive at the analysis screen, the first thing you'll notice is you have a list of input data that you can immediately select to view static, uh, static output data, or not static, sorry, um, the, the output data versus the step motion. 
Um, you can do that in a table or in a chart sort of fashion. You also have the ability to create charts. So if you create a chart, you can select data from up at the top ribbon bar, um, where you're going to choose which results you want to view on the same chart. You can also add multiple series on the same chart and view different Y channels versus X or however you may want to do it. Um, once you hit OK, you'll notice that it shows up immediately. Here you have the ability to change the color of what you're viewing so that you can so that you can keep track of what's what. Um, you can also right click on the chart and you can add titles. If you double click on it, it'll bring up the label editor. Same thing with horizontal axes. You have the ability for the titles and the grid lines. Um, again, you can always go to more axis options and it'll give you all the options in one screen for that particular title. You also have the ability here to create tables. And in creating tables, you will select a, a type of data that you want to look at and the results that you'd like to look at. Nice thing about this is you can click this compare button here and it will compare all of your results with the first result. So tell you whether they're higher or lower and by how much. Um, in all of these reports you have the ability to run through the simulation and watch it point by point as it goes through. You can also uh, grab the progress bar and manually move through it. And the last thing that you can do here in the reports or analysis section is to create a view. And when you create a view, you can watch your simulation in motion. So if you have selected in the options menu to view roll axis, pitch axis, uh, any of those options, you can watch them change as it goes through the motion. That pretty much sums up Optimum Kinematics. Um, if you have any further questions or are curious on how things are calculated, um, you always have the ability to view our help file. Um, and in the help file, we have a bunch of glossary definitions, uh, what we define as reference distance, camber angles, toe angles, and so on. Um, always feel free to send us an email. Um, we love getting any feedback that you might have, whether it be positive or negative, as we're always looking to improve our software. And I hope you enjoy the software. Thank you.